The new insights about the nature of interstitial spaces have significant implications for our understanding of extracellular matrix, ECM, the removal of toxins, tissue fluid pressure, and related pathophysiology. Here's how, ECM and interstitial spaces. The interstitial spaces are part of the ECM, which traditionally was thought to be primarily a dense, protein-rich environment, acting as a physical scaffold for cells. However, the new perspective that interstitial spaces are filled with fluid and that these spaces are a connected network throughout the body suggests that the ECM plays a more dynamic role in tissue function and homeostasis than previously thought. This could have implications for understanding how cells interact with their environment, how signals are transmitted within tissues, and how cells move through the ECM. Toxin Removal the findings suggest that interstitial spaces can act as pathways for the movement of particles, potentially including toxins, throughout the body. Fluid flow within these interstitial spaces could contribute to the clearance of toxins from tissues, supplementing the traditional detoxification pathways via the lymphatic and circulatory systems. This adds another layer to our understanding of the body's detoxification processes and could potentially be exploited for therapeutic interventions. Tissue Fluid Pressure and Related Pathophysiology The existence of fluid-filled interstitial spaces throughout the body could have a significant impact on our understanding of tissue fluid pressure. If these spaces are indeed under pressure and can transmit force, as the research suggests, they could contribute to phenomena like edema, fluid accumulation, and the associated pain, immobility, and tissue dysfunction. Understanding this could provide new therapeutic targets for conditions associated with abnormal fluid accumulation. Pain and mobility. These fluid-filled interstitial spaces might also contribute to sensations of pain and mobility issues. If the fluid in these spaces becomes excessive or the balance of fluid is not maintained, it could exert pressure on surrounding tissues, leading to pain. In terms of mobility, Understanding the interplay of fluid dynamics in these spaces could provide insights into conditions that affect tissue flexibility and movement. Disease processes. Given their proposed roles in cell migration, immune system interactions, and fluid dynamics, the interstitial spaces could be implicated in a variety of disease processes, from cancer metastasis to inflammation, fibrosis, and infection. More research is needed to fully understand these roles, but the initial findings suggest that the interstitial spaces could be a significant new frontier in disease understanding and treatment. Overall, the findings offer a profound shift in understanding the ECM and its role in the body's function and disease processes. By considering the ECM not just as a structural scaffold, but also as a fluid-filled, dynamic environment, we could significantly enhance our understanding of various physiological and pathological processes.